Well, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. If you love this info, please subscribe. I'm Cody, the founder of Montreal Skin Care, always here to help you have the most healthy, glowing, and gorgeous skin, regardless of your age, concern, or budget. And in today's quick video, I want to talk to you about layering serums, especially hyaluronic and vitamin C, how it's best or advised to do it so that you get the most bang for your buck with your products, especially if you're spending money. So what I have noticed and experienced and tested over seeing you know, thousands of people I'm always obsessed with not wasting and getting the most bang for my buck with product and my clients so here's the way that I try to keep it really simple so if you have like a hyaluronic acid gel like we have this one by glow I'm not a fan of it it's okay there's other brands that I've already talked about that I think are even better that are more indie brands like um, the um, one from Jen Amber and even from Jordan Samuels. Like I think it's way better. Um, but I'm just gonna show you this as an example. So what I recommend is you do your normal kind of first things like your cleansing and your toning. The first product you put on when you're using a hyaluronic or a vitamin C is always the vitamin C first because it's acidic and it will exfoliate if it's a good one. Um, unless it's maybe a different form of vitamin C. But if it's the lascorbic acid form of vitamin C, you usually put that on first so that you get some um, absorption and some prevention of like free radicals, antioxidants, all that stuff, and then you put on your gel. But let's say you're using like a hyaluronic acid gel now and a face oil and you're not quite sure what to do. So let's just keep it really simple. Water always first. Hydration always first. So hydration is hyaluronic acid. So you would put this on first um, all over your skin and then let that absorb and then you trap that water in with a lipid, with an oil. So it's water first, lipid second. Does that make sense? Could you do it the other way? Sure, but you want your skin to get plump with hydration and water, and then you lock and trap that water in with an oil. So my skin has absorbed that hyaluronic, and I'm going to do another video showing you how to make any hyaluronic acid work better, but I'm just showing you in this example of like how to layer these two products or a face oil and a hyaluronic. Now I'm gonna use the Beautifying Oil by Aveda and I'm just gonna use a few drops. So whatever oil, face oil you have now is fine. And then you put this in your hands and then you just press that on to the hyaluronic gel or whatever type of hydrating serum that you have. So again, it's water first, oil lipid afterwards to lock in that water. I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps. I think it'll make a big difference. If you did it the opposite way, what will happen is you're putting oil down and now you're not going to have the hyaluronic reach its full potential or the gel and the formulation of whatever that is get in there deep enough, I think, because now there's an oil on the skin. So water first, lipid second. I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Remember to stay gorgeous, and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye!